I believe I can fly, so let's... <laughs> okay, I thought it would be a better flyer than that. Oh my god! How's it going everybody? Dragas here and welcome back to another episode of the best Besiege creations. Once again, we got another jam-packed episode filled with some very awesome unique designs that we are probably going to absolutely destroy. So this first design is called the Whirlwind. It's one I've been following for actually a couple weeks now, it feels like. New Text designed it, and it is fantastic. Now, you might be saying it just looks like a chassis and wheels, and realistically, it is a chassis and wheels, but this is a very special chassis. You can actually rotate it via its own force. So that's not only useful, for example, uh, getting back on the front end of the car, because yes, you can drive it like this, but it's actually reverse. Back is forward, forward is back. You get the idea, left is right, and right is left. A little confusing when you're used to going the other way. So it's useful for that, but where this thing truly shines is in the stunting department. This thing is just a beast in the air and very fun to play around with, as you can see. Now, we did break a little piece off, but I've been amazed at how stable this chassis is. With how many... how hard the jumps you're doing and you're doing flips and bending it every which way it stays together remarkably well and i'm not in invincibility right now so i thought it'd be fun to do whoa <laughs> i didn't even know that thing was there what the fuck i don't think i've ever seen that maybe i'm just oblivious to it that was fucking that scared me <laughs> Okay, but like I was saying, I think we're going to do a little bit of exploring today. There's a lot of mountains in this uh, map, and I don't really... Oh, God, I can't I can't turn the one way. Oh, that's <laughs> my wheel. Okay, but yes, I thought it would be fun to do a bit of exploring with this thing, as it is basically like a little nimble monster truck. Very... F oh, fuck. Okay, I swear this thing is rather good at driving. I'm just very poor at driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I almost fell off again. I just want to get to the mountain, damn it. Because we never go up here, and really with something like this, this is exactly where you want to be. Okay, so hello, Mr. Ghost Knight. I don't want to screw with you. You'll probably break my damn thing. Yeah, don't look at me like that. Uh, I want to see- Oh, shit! Whoa! Fucking shit, bastard! You know what, you little shithead? That took me so long to get up here, and then you decided to do that. You fucker. Okay, avoid the creepy ghost warrior, and there we go. We have made it up. So I just want to go up here. I don't know if I've actually ever been this high up the mountain. Jesus, how can I not drive this thing up a fucking platform this large? All right, you know what? Fuck it. Power! I just want to get up here, <laughs> damn it. And right up and over. Oh my god, that was perfect. That is an epic freaking jump. Okay, but we're back up on the mountain. I know there's a bunch of secrets in here. I think there's some references to Dark Souls that people talk about. I uh, don't know if we're going to find them, but this is like the perfect spot to do some tricking. So let's try and uh, do a little bit of that and just showcase what's so cool about this stunting vehicle. I love all stunting vehicles in Besiege. Not enough of them are being made. Uh, unfortunately, we're not really stunting right now. We're just falling with style, as Buzz Lightyear would say, and now we're in a fucking hole. Great. Don't think we're going to spin our way out of this one. <laughs> oh my god. That landing just exploded this thing. Look, look at the fucking rubble. It went so freaking far. There's still things falling from the sky. That was impressive. But yeah, guys, this is the Whirlwind. An awesome little uh, buggy design, trickster design, whatever you want to call it. Just a fun thing to play with. And uh, aside from it being totally broken right now, extremely sturdy. One of the most rigid vehicles I've seen. Next on the list, we got this awesome little anglerfish. Now, this is actually a minigame. You can see in the uh, distance, there's some schools of wooden fish randomly floating around. I don't know how many schools there is. Uh, but yeah, basically, you're supposed to eat them uh, and, of course, feed your anglerfish. Now, he does open his mouth. Absolutely horrifying. Anglerfish are awesome. So to start it up, we just have to hit up, and now he is floating around. By the way, this is not in zero gravity. This thing is actually a flyer. Uh, don't know how it really works, but it looks fantastic. We have the little back tail you can flap around, and uh, let's go pay these little fish a visit. All right, open that big mouth, and let's get in and do some chomping. I think I got one. Uh, I was hoping to get the whole school, but uh, this thing's hard to aim. Oh, yes, here we go, <laughs> and there is a full mouth of fish. That is absolutely awesome. Okay, and we got one more major school left. Let's see if we can uh, get
Get them in my mouth. Oh, shit, I passed them. Hold on here. All right, here I come. Oh, God, I keep missing. Okay, it's harder to be a fish than it seems. The horror from the deep. Here we go. Oh, God, I missed again. Okay, I hit him with my tail. <laughs> Okay, maybe I should try the different camera angles here. We got two different cameras we can choose from. This backwards one, I think. Actually, it's kind of sideways. And then we also got um, this frontward facing one, which I think is more just for viewing than anything else. All right, screw the fish. I want some damn blood in my diet. All right, here we go. <laughs> well, at least I hit one. God damn, this thing is, it's, it's like, it's almost like swimming on ice. This thing is so hard to keep on the ground here, but I really wish I could eat one of these guys. Come on, get over here. Come here, I just want to eat you, you little bastards. <laughs> I can't get them in my jaw, and they keep going right on my underbelly because they want to go to the middle of the creation. But yeah, that was the anglerfish, guys. An absolutely horrifying looking fish that uh, looks great in Besiege. And we're back with another RC build. Last time we had a car, this time we have a damn helicopter. This is going to be great. I am awful at helicopters, guys. There's a reason you don't see many helicopters on my channel. Because I am fucking awful at flying them. But here we go. Oh yeah, we are fucking flying this thing. And it's a little RC helicopter. How cute is this? Oh, let's see if we can do a backflip. We are not doing a backflip. We are crashing. <laughs> Okay, I think we need to go up a little higher for a backflip. By the way, we do have some different cameras here. We got the chopper camera, we got a backwards camera, and of course we got the controller camera. The unfortunate part about this controller is A, uh, you can't look up, and B, oh wow, I just cr <laughs> I'm not good at flying this thing. Uh, but it doesn't follow it like the um, RC car did, so you actually have to manually turn your controller. So kind of, honestly, a pointless thing to add RC for. It's basically just a small little cute helicopter. Uh, so we're just going to ignore the controller and uh, try and control this thing as a real helicopter. I just love how small this thing is. It's actually not too bad to control either. I thought I would be a, be a bad time for me, especially considering how bad I am at flying. But as you can see, not having too hard of a time. I can actually do some tricks and whatnot. Let's see if we can actually do a backflip. I'm going to go up a little higher. Okay, here we go. We're going to get a little bit of speed and lift. Oh, God, that's not how you're supposed to backflip a helicopter. <laughs> well, I hit a fucking sword. Okay, with a helicopter, I don't think he can do the typical backflip. He kind of got to do it like this. I mean, that's still a backflip. I mean, I can't front. That's pretty damn cool. Okay, let's see if I can take out this tower. Is it big enough? Oh, yes. There we go. I was hoping to fly away from that, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Okay, the ultimate goal of RC is to successfully land your helicopter without, you know, breaking it. So we're going to go back... So where my controller is... Oh, I fucking broke it already. Okay, good start. Oh, God. Okay, well, fuck! Okay, let's see if I can land this thing. Helicopter's definitely easier to land than plane. So there we go. A successful landing. Almost an explosion. You know what? Just for fun's sake, let's just... uh. There we go. So yeah, that was the RC helicopter. An awesome little design here. And I do like the attention to detail on these remotes. It does uh, basically follow anything that I press. It presses and uh, yeah, it just works great. Okay, check out this thing. This looks so damn cool. This is called the Perfect Rocket System, and it is an off-roading vehicle with multiple different tiers of trajectory for its rockets. So what I mean by that, let's get to a nice open area here, and I'll showcase how cool this damn thing is. And look how good it is at off-roading, too. This suspension system on this is just fantastic. Oh, god damn it, fucking farmer, get the hell out of here. What are you doing? Oh, god! How? No, farmer, don't fuck this over, buddy. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna stomp you, farmer. Get the hell... How? How are you surviving this? You are fucking... Are you serious? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... Okay, the farmer's beating me up. This is... This, this is bullying. This is cruel and unusual punishment. God damn it, die! Yeah, you just keep hitting this. One time, you're gonna fucking hit one of those rockets. I hope you do. Oh, god damn it, he's just... He's taking all my wheels off. Fuck you! <laughs> Hey, let's reset this thing. The farmer that could beat an artillery vehicle. That is seriously impressive. Anyways, let's showcase what this thing is all about. So it's got three different types of rockets. It's got short range, long range, and then artillery. First of all, we're going to go through these short range rockets. These ones just do a high lobbing shot. Pretty close range, as you can see. The second rockets are the long range, and these ones are a faster rocket that shoots straight forward, as you can see. Oh, look at that. We hit the fucking windmill. 
Uh, but yeah, those shoot straight forward. Uh, I think we got some more here. Yes, we got three tiers of these. Now, the artillery ones are the coolest. You can actually set up cameras to see exactly where you're going to hit. Now, unfortunately, you can't aim this artillery, which would be really cool. But if you hit F here, this is where the first rocket will hit. It's looking like it's actually going to hit that house. So let's try it out here. There it goes. It is off. And bam, right on the house. Now we're going to go to the next rocket. It goes further and further. Oh, uh, god damn it. I wish we could... Um let me, I'm, I'm actually moving the um, car right now. I'm going to try and hit this statue if I can. Okay, because it's so high up in the air, I want to lob the shot on top of it. So we're going to put it down at the bottom of the screen. I don't think this is going to work. But I'd be surprised if it does. All right, here we go. And, oh, shit. It still was uh, a little too low for, to hit that really tall tower. And then we got one further one. This one is way out, and this is the final rocket. It goes right in the middle, and as you can see, it's just fantastic. Uh, let's actually watch those artillery from here. So, just so you can see, there's the first one. Not very far, and then they go progressively further and further. So, of course, because we got explosions, we're at the Duke's play here. I'm gonna try out my artillery. Let's see how far we can actually go to shoot this. Uh, cause I don't think the other map gives a good reference of distance, you can see way too far in it. Uh, so for right now, let's see, the first rocket, no idea where that is, there we go, the second rocket is pretty close, let's move my vehicle up a little bit, make this castle in the middle of it, and then we're gonna shoot this rocket right now, let's see what happens, ah, man! Okay, let's try again, I'm actually gonna go all the way to the edge now, there is an invisible wall on this map, so, oh, Fuck you, invisible wall. <laughs> I was gonna say I want to avoid that invisible wall, but clearly I said that a little too late. Okay, well that's as close as I'm comfortable doing. Let's try this again. I think the medium tier one's really gonna be the only one that I can use. Obviously I can go closer if I want to do short range artillery, but no, this is in fact as far as we can go. I'm gonna move it up a little bit more this time and hope for the best here. Okay, that looks good. Let's try it out. Come on, you can hit it. Oh, <laughs> yes. Did it not explode it though? That's so bullshit. All right, let me actually go check it out. Let's let's see the damage right <laughs> through the door. Gotta love it when a rocket comes knocking at your door. That was amazing. I couldn't ask for a better shot though. And let's uh, do a little bit of damage to this thing, shall we? Okay, the short ranges are very short range. So we're gonna try from here. Let's see if these ones can hit it. Oh, actually really short range. Move up a little bit. There we go, right into the door, and now let's get to the faster rockets, let's back up a little bit, oh, that's the wrong one, but there we go, those are the fun ones, because they go right straight like a gun. So yeah, I didn't think much of this vehicle while downloading it, but I am pleasantly surprised with how good it is, it's just so fun to play with rockets, and this is like the ultimate toy in Besiege. And next up, we got a guy in a cast in a wheelchair. This one's called I Believe I Can Fly. I don't know really what the point of this one is, but it's really fun to play with. <laughs> oh god, he just took off my head. How could you? That's so mean. You guys just don't give a fuck. Handicap, it doesn't matter. You guys are gonna fuck him over. Like, look at my chair even. Those things are expensive, you know? Not that I can really use it anymore, considering I'm nothing but limbs. Okay, but obviously this thing's got a few tricks up its sleeve. First of all, I really like that it fucking did a wheelie there. That was impressive. But I believe I can fly, so let's... Oh, God damn it. Okay, I thought it would be a better flyer than that. Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me. This is wrong. Okay, well, if you're gonna explode, you better get a better maiden voyage, my friend. Let's try off this little hill here. Oh, God. Okay, well, we are not very good at flying. And there goes the handicap. Oh, yes, there we go, there we go. Come on, keep keep it together, keep it together. There, <laughs> and we exploded. So there was his maiden flight. I guess that's really it when it comes to this one. A nice little creation, though. Every now and then, some weird ones like this are always nice. But yeah, guys, that wraps it up for another episode of the Best Besieged Creations. I hope you enjoyed, once again, another jam-packed episode filled with some awesome designs. As always, links will be in the description if you do want to play with these for yourself. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.